The Supreme Court on Thursday upheld a tax on foreign income that anti-regulatory groups accused as being too similar to, quote, a wealth tax. The decision supports the government's position that the mandatory repatriation tax is a legitimate means of preventing U.S. shareholders from avoiding tax payments. The 7-2 decision by Justice Brett Kavanaugh upheld the mandatory repatriation tax, siding with the Biden administration to uphold the provision of the 2017 corporate tax reform law. Kavanaugh emphasized that the holding of the case was narrow, writing that, quote, nothing in this opinion should be read to authorize any hypothetical congressional effort to tax both an entity and its shareholders or partners on the same undistributed income realized by the entity. The case known as Moore v. United States involved petitioners Charles and Kathleen Moore. The couple sought to challenge the mandatory repatriation tax that was billed as a case that would mark a blow to the Biden administration's agenda to tax the nation's ultra-wealthy. The Moore family made an almost $40,000 investment into an Indian corporation in 2005. They did not receive any money or other payments from the company, despite the corporation making a profit each year. Under the 2017 tax reform law, which came out of the Trump administration, the petitioners learned that they were subject to a mandatory repatriation tax. This law required taxpayers to pay taxes on reinvested earnings, something the Moors challenged as unconstitutional. They paid the tax worth over $14,000 and sued for a refund. The Moors argued the 16th Amendment, which authorizes Congress to lay and collect taxes on income from whatever source derived without apportionment among the several states, is significant to the federal tax system.